Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to crochet this super easy and super pretty headband. We will be using Tunisian crochet. I absolutely love Tunisian crochet because look at those stitches. They look like knitted and this is so so easy to do. I will show you the back side. Here you can see the stitches even better and it's so much fun. To crochet. It's just a one row repeat and it's very very easy to crochet. Like I said I had so much fun and it was done within not even two hours and then all we have to do is sew the pieces together which is also super super easy and like I said the stitches are just very very pretty. But now I will show you what we need and how to crochet this beautiful Tunisian headband. Today I'm using an 8mm Tunisian crochet hook. I'm using the Denise Interchangeables um, hooks and they have a um, cord that is attached to the Tunisian crochet needle. Of course you can use any Tunisian crochet hook you would like but I used a bulky yarn so I'm using an 8mm crochet hook. You will also need a pair of scissors, a yarn needle and today I'm using again the paint box yarns in Simply Chunky. You can use any chunky or bulky yarn you like. They have the number 5 but I crocheted with the paint box yarns and this is the color I chose. It's like a silver color and the color number is the 304. And you will need one skein for your Tunisian headband. And now let's get started. For this pattern, we will start with a slip knot and we will crochet chains. Just like a normal crochet, grab the yarn, pull through. Grab the yarn, pull through. And for my headband, I chained 62 chains. Of course, it depends on your head size. Just keep crocheting in a multiple of two until you reach the desired length you need for your head size. Just try it on, make sure it's not too tight or not too loose. It should fit a little bit snug, but like I said, not too, too tight or not to loose and it has to be a multiple of two. Like I already said, mine was 62 chains. Just keep crocheting in multiples of two until you reach your desired head size. And I will see you back in just a moment. We will start with the first row. The loop on the hook does not count as a stitch. So we will do one and two. I show you one more time one and two. We will insert a hook into the stitch, grab the yarn and pull up. And we will leave those stitches on the hook. Now insert your hook into the next stitch, grab the yarn and pull up. And you can see all the loops are on our hook now. And this is what we want for Tunisian crochet. So again, into the next stitch, grab the yarn, pull up. And you will do this all the way along in every stitch until you reach your last stitch. So just repeat this all the way along and I will see you back in just a second. We will do the back row for Tunisian crochet, which is also super, super easy. You will grab the yarn over, grab the yarn and go through only the first loop. This is our border stitch. And now we will grab the yarn and pull through two. Grab the yarn, pull through two, grab the yarn, pull through two. And you will repeat this all the way along until you have one loop left. Like I said, this is my sample piece. I already crocheted my headband, so don't be surprised that it's so short. <laughs> so repeat going through both stitches until you have one stitch left, like that. And this is our first row. In this row, we will actually start our pattern. So the very first loop here, we will always skip. So we need the first loop here. Like you can see in Tunisian crochet, we have those loops in the front and these are the ones we need to work in. So we will go with our hook from the right to the left. And now you see we have the loop on our hook, grab the yarn and pull up. 
Now for the next stitch or the next loop here, you will go from the left. You see, I always turn my hook around like that because we will be grabbing the loop from the left to the right. So it makes it easier. So from the left to the right, pull the loop up, grab the yarn and pull up. And again, this is our repeat. We will go from the right to the left, grab the yarn, pull up. And the next stitch is from the left to the right, pull through, grab the yarn and pull up. And we will repeat those two stitches all the way along. So again, from the right to the left, grab the yarn, pull up, and now from the left to the right, grab the yarn and pull up. The first row, it looks very complicated, but you will see if you keep repeating this a couple more rows, it's super, super easy to do, I promise. So again, from the right to the left, grab the yarn, pull up, and from the left to the right, grab the yarn, yarn over and pull up. From the right to the left, this one is the easy one, and now again, from the left up, grab the yarn and pull up. Now we're at the end of the row and it's really important not to miss the border stitch. If you turn it around a little bit, you can see this little V and we will be entering our hook through those two loops, like here. Grab the yarn and just pull up. And this is how the first row looks like. And now we will do the back row. So again, yarn over only through the first loop. And now yarn over and go through two. Go through two all the way along until you have one loop left. So yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Now I have three. So again, yarn over, pull through two. Almost to the end, we have two loops, yarn over and pull through two. And here is our one loop and now we will repeat our stitches. So again, we will always skip the very first stitch here and we will work into the first one here. So from the right to the left, grab the yarn, pull up. And the next one from the left to the right, pull up, grab the yarn and pull up. From the right to the left, pull up and again from the left to the right grab the yarn and pull up and you will repeat this row over and over again we will be doing exactly the same thing we will always start from the right to the left and repeat those two stitches so from the right to the left and from the left to the right Grab the yarn and pull up. I'm almost here to the end of my row and I always finish with from the left to the right. And again, it's really important not to miss the border stitch here. So you will insert your hook, make sure you have two loops on your hook, grab the yarn and pull up. And here you can already see the beautiful stitches. And now again, yarn over, pull through one, and now pull through two. Pull through two, yarn over, grab the yarn, pull through two, and repeat this all the way along. And you will see, once you get the hang out of it, it's super, super easy and fun to do. And it works up really, really fast. So I'm here at the end of my row and I have one loop left. I will show you one more row and then I'm pretty sure you can do it on your own. So like we said, we skipped the first stitch. The first loop here is the one we'll be working in. So again, from the right to the left, grab the yarn, pull up. The next one from the left 
to the right, pull up, grab the arm and pull up. From the right to the left, and from the left to the right. Grab the yarn, pull through. And you will repeat those two rows over and over again until you reach the desired height you need for your headband. I will keep crocheting and show you in just a moment how my headband looks like. And you will be repeating those two rows over and over. And like I said, on the beginning, it's not so, so easy, but you will see after you work up a couple more rows, it works up super fast. So again, the border stitch and the back row, we will go through the first loop and then pull through two. And this is all we're going to do. Repeat those two rows over and over again. And I will see you back in just a moment. Did the row over and over again and this is how it looks like i just really really love this stitch uh, my headband measures right now about three and a half inches if you want to have it wider you just keep crocheting a couple more rows until you have the desired width you need for your headband but for me this is wide enough and now all we have to do is crochet one last row to finish off the top and i will show you how to do that the last row is also super easy we will be doing exactly the same thing like we did before but we're just going to make a slip stitch which is super easy so again from the right to the left grab the yarn pull up we have two loops on the hook normally we would leave it like that but what we are going to do now is just make a slip stitch and now again from the left to the right pull up grab the yarn pull up you have two loops on your hook and again make a slip stitch again from the right to the left just like before grab the yarn pull up and make a slip stitch and again, from the left to the right, grab the yarn, pull up and make a slip stitch. And this is how you finish off your last row. And you will repeat this all the way along until you reach your last stitch. And I will show you in just a moment how to finish repeated this all the way along and this is how it looks like I am now in my last stitch and again work into the last border stitch here grab the yarn pull up and make a slip stitch chain one pull tight and now leave a long tail because we'll be sewing this together in just a moment and then just cut your yarn grab your hook pull through and pull tight. What I'm going to do now is sew in this beginning end. And what you could even do, if you have a steamer at home, you could steam it. But you can see it rolls a little bit, which is totally normal in Tunisian crochet. And I will see you back in just a moment. I'll show you how to sew the pieces together. Here is my left side. You can see here's the yarn I finished off and this is our right side. And our right, right side is facing us right now. And we will fold both pieces like this. Here you can see we have the back side and now you will grab the left side first and fold it into half like that. Now grab the right side and fold it. And now we will put it on top of each other like that. And this is how we'll be sewing those pieces together. I show you one more time. So grab the left side, fold it, grab the right side, fold it. And now we will put the right side in between the left you can fix it up here that it's all nice and even and here and now we will grab our yarn needle and start sewing those parts together 
Now just grab your yarn needle and we can start sewing all four layers together. So I just go through on the one side and now from the bottom to top. So make sure it's all nice and even and I just go from here all the way through. And you will repeat this all the way along. You can even go back and forth twice. This is totally up to you. Just make sure it's all nice and even and it's not going to open up on you. So just repeat doing this all the way along. Once you're done, all we have to do now is a knot. I always go through a stitch and through the big loop we have here and I will pull it tight. And then all we have to do is just sew in the last end, just pull tight. And now we have a knot there and now just sew in your yarn. And once you are done with that, you can cut the yarn. So like you see, I'm just going back and forth, back and forth. And then one more time. And now we can cut the yarn like that. And now we just turn it around. So you just flip it inside out and we are done. And this is how our headband looks like. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial with me. Of course, I would love to see your pictures of your finished headbands. I really hope you have a great time crocheting and I hope to see you back soon. Bye.